Welcome again, YouTubers, to another Once Upon a Time video. Alright, so today, I want to talk about the last episode of this season, which was episode 5 of season 6. This whole episode, pretty much, is all about the story of Agrabah, relates to Jasmine, and, of course, Aladdin. We finally get to learn a bit more about him, in addition to seeing some cool scenes from Jafar. So, I'm going to get into a top 5 situation, where I'll just break those down a little bit, and talk a little bit about those that I thought were most important from the episode. So for number five, Regina finds out that more than likely she's the one that's going to kill Emma in the end. This was kind of a pivotal moment because, you know, we've been thinking about who exactly Emma is going to face off against that is in that hood, ultimately in her visions as the savior, and she's going to have to die in order for it to happen. Not too long ago, we found out that if you want to get rid of the copy, you need to get rid of the original. So it looks like Regina has to go. So it makes sense that Emma would ultimately be the one that would have to fight Regina if they want to get rid of the evil queen who's causing a lot of problems because Emma is the savior, of course. So Regina finding out that she's probably the one that's going to have to kill Emma, that's really disheartening. And of course, she spends the rest of the episode struggling to find a way to help out everyone to solve all the problems that are going on in Storybrooke. But she's very torn apart by this, and that's going to have serious implications moving forward. Number four, Aladdin rolls up like a bad A on that magic carpet to fight Jafar. Throughout the episode, towards the end, we go back all the way to Agrabah after Aladdin and Jasmine had already met, or on a mission to try to beat Jafar. Now, when they eventually couldn't succeed in what they were doing, they decide to part ways, and Aladdin's like, oh, I'm probably just going to stay back here and not going to see you for a while. Jafar puts Jasmine in a sticky situation where he puts her in a sand timer right in front of her father, the Sultan. And as he's sitting there going, your time is going to run out, then Aladdin pops in there with a the magic carpet, goes right at Jafar, messes that stuff up with his magic, and makes Jafar leave. And that was actually a pretty cool moment because we got to see what Aladdin was made out of, considering he is one of the saviors in this series. But number three, finally, Emma decides to admit her visions. The visions that she's been having this entire time about having to die and about seeing that she's going to have to use magic and all that kind of stuff, Finally, she admits that to Hook, and he, of course, is not extremely happy about that because, you know, been lied to this entire time. And that was something that I've just been waiting for in general, so that's why it's going to get a number three, although there isn't a huge breakdown. it Regardless, it does make her family really worried. Of course, Snow was pretty freaked out, like, why wouldn't you tell your mother? That kind of thing, because we're here for you. So, it was a big moment for me personally because I never understood why she was keeping it such a secret this entire time. When all keeping secrets is ever done in this show is just hurt people. For number two, Hook keeps the scissors. Now, the scissors were given to Aladdin originally back in the day to, in Agrabah by Jafar. Those scissors were given to him by the Sisters of Fate. You could use these shears to cut the tie that bonded a person to the Savior. So that means that Aladdin could cut the Savior label from his life and he wouldn't have to deal with anything because Jafar keeps reminding him that the fate of all saviors is death and destruction. So he could just get rid of that and live a normal, happy life. And Emma ends up being given those shears by Aladdin. So Aladdin essentially gives her the option in Storybrooke to cut away the savior title from her life. And she said, as a last resort, I would use these, but only as a last resort. What I need to happen though, I'm going to give these to you, Hook. I need you to go hide them. Hook said he went and hid them 20,000 leagues under the sea, but no. Hook actually kept them because Hook is going to plan to do something devious and he's going to try to cut the savior label from it. I don't know what's going to happen with all that, but I think we're going to find out that that whole like cutting the savior label is just crap and ultimately like Aladdin who supposedly cut his savior label is actually going to still have it and Emma may end up the same way and they'll still end up being saviors. And for number one, we sort of already talked about it, is Aladdin shows up at the crypts in Storybrooke. So Jasmine has been in Storybrooke for a little bit at this point. So Jasmine has been in Storybrooke for a while now at this point, and she's been looking for Aladdin throughout this entire time, along with the Oracle. When she goes to the crypts, they're like, oh, no, not here, because they had used an enchantment spell, and they thought they narrowed it down to Aladdin, which was a corpse. Then, of course, Jasmine leaves is all sad, he reveals himself to Emma, they talk for a little while. Then fortunately, Emma gets Aladdin nudged in the right direction to go say hi to Jasmine and say, hey, not dead, just to let you know, and kind of rekindle that relationship that they had going on. 
So that means a lot of good stuff moving forward in the future, but that also means that Jafar, without that, is going to be there, and we're going to see some pretty cool battles. But that's going to do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, as always. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed this past week's episode, because I actually loved this week's episode of Once Upon a Time, despite there being no Rumble Stillskin, which is really hard for me because he is by far my favorite character. If you want to check out some of my other videos, of course, you can check out my last Walking Dead recap video right here. It was a big episode of Walking Dead if you don't watch. If you do watch, you know how big it is, but you can check out my recap that was done instantly right after the episode was done. So click right there. That's going to do it for the video. Thanks so much for watching as always. Hope you have an amazing day. You take care. Goodbye.